that laugh, it sounds like a combination of the clown from IT and some fucking evil queen that's definitely on the spectrum. Yo, what's going on YouTube? Welcome back to another video. I've actually wanted to talk about this for a while, but I never made a video about it because I didn't want to be that guy dragging on online drama. But because of the way it blew up and the threats that I received, I actually decided to make a video about it. A few other creators like Isaac Butterfield posted it on his channel and it was even trending on Reddit for a little while. And if you don't know what video I'm talking about, I'll put it on screen for you guys. I peeped the Instagram and all your <clears throat> garbage content. And I can tell from your pictures that you're strong 5'5", five five, like on a good day. And I'm guessing from those feet that your shoe size is probably what, like an eight, eight and a half? Yeah. <laughs> If it can't make it past the cheeks, you could just say that, bro. I also saw that your calves are weak as hell. Are you a big physique guy? Long board shorts wearer, huh? Nice. I was also very lucky enough to be in a small segment of Chesma's interview with Greg Doucette. Majority of the video was about Ziz and his legacy, so make sure you guys watch that episode on Greg Doucette's channel and Chesma's channel. And I'll play that clip for you guys in a hot minute. I know you all are excited for it. Being a new creator on such a platform and receiving such an overwhelming response, to be honest, man, I had no fucking idea how to handle it. And I'm not gonna lie, it was a lot mentally. There was a lot of negativity and repercussions from the video, but also a lot of fucking positivity and it helped blow up my page. Haters make you grow. If nobody's talking shit about you, man, you're doing it wrong. And before I play the video with Greg Doucette and Chesbro, we'll go through some of Drew Fowler's little minion comments. Shanti Weeb says, where is your MD to speak on this? Fam, I don't need no medical degree to say that she's obese. The amount of people in this fucking world and her followers that are just in so much denial, like wake the fuck up, dude, and just be honest with yourself. Tess Holiday literally calls herself fat in one of her interviews. And I didn't even use that term because apparently fat is derogatory now. But calling someone an Asian cunt? Ugly Asian cunt. That's okay. This this one's my fucking favorite. Amber 0121 do one says, You came for one of the most famous models with a statement of obese, projecting your irrelevant opinion on TikTok with Drew around. Rip to you. Okay. Amber, firstly, I don't give a fuck who the hell Tess Holiday is. To be honest, I didn't even know who she was. I just saw her on my For You page. I don't know how famous she was. I don't know how much money she makes. I don't give a fuck who she is. That doesn't change the fact that she's obese. Don't even get me fucking started in Drew, man. Combination of the clown from IT and some fucking evil queen that's definitely on the spectrum. I don't know why all you little minions think she's like a god of some sort. She literally just bashes men online. Also, obesity is not a fucking opinion. It's a fact. Tess Holiday is in fact obese. Anyways, enough of the bullshit. I'll play you all the clip. You know, whoever's running social media, wh whatever the narrative is, they can pin pinpoint it one way, lead you to one side and make you think one side's better than another. It's not just neutral. It's certainly more one-sided than another on any topic. Mm, I, I agree with you, man. So, I mean, people just got to be careful on social media, all the content creators and all that. Um, Alex as well. <laughs> Can you, uh, you want to tell the story about that? Um, the... Oh, I think they a video on it. Yeah, oh, there you go. Yeah. Um, jump in, jump in one more. Um, I think, I think Alex did a video about like some woman or something. <laughs> it was uh, the Drew video with Tess Holiday. That one blew up. Absolutely, yes. He went famous from that video. He's more <laughs> yeah. famous than I am now. Hey, follow my boy on TikTok, at Alex Mendoza. He's got more followers than I do. <laughs> right, yes. It was nuts, man. And like some, her followers literally call me up and like send threats um, and I have voice recordings and they even called up my local clinic <laughs> and was looking for me. Um, I thought that was a little bit extreme and it kind of made me feel very unsafe, but. <laughs> One new message, new voice messages received today at 1.30 PM. You've made a big, big fucking mistake, you ugly Asian cunt, you fucking Made a big mistake. To listen to this message, press one. He's like, never had it go that far. As as okay. bad as like the sixty thousand people, I've never had anyone like actually call and and threaten me or anything. I've had like, you're an asshole. We hate you. I would. You're not a good person. But I've never had actually like go to the threat level. Constantly kept ringing me. Um, I'd wake up to a few different missed calls, and it was a private number. And he's just said, they're just saying, oh, you're, I'm a misogynist. I hate women. And I'm like, no, that's not what the video was about. It was just about saying how obesity isn't something that should be normalized, and it shouldn't exactly. be. It really shouldn't be. Other brands promoting that look. Dude, we know? can't talk about obese women. No. But they're very quick to judge bodybuilding and guys who look after yeah. their body and cause vain and narcissistic and 
toxic masculinity. It's like, fuck you, got girls. You know, yeah. like, we have feelings too. <laughs> what? Just because we look great, we, we doesn't mean doesn't give them a chance to rip on us. What's yeah, they can sit there and make fun of everything about you, but you can't say, hey, if you're uh, hundred pounds overweight, you're probably gonna die younger. You can't just make diabetes. a statement like that. But you can make fun of the size of my private area, how yeah. tall I am, and call me every name in the book. But I can't say you're obese. How many times have they called you short on TikTok? <laughs> Too many times. Every time. <laughs> what can I do? All of the times. <laughs> right. <laughs> Well, I was going to say, what's interesting is that, you know, you see all these plus size female models, but you never see like a plus size male model. You know, I just think that's very interesting. <laughs> that is, I, Yeah, I agree. It, it's like, true. You know, it's not about equality at this point. It's about feeling comfortable and accepted, which is great. But I mean, it kind of clashes with certain values, right? So and how yeah. tall are you? I'm uh, five, I'm, six I'm, and a quarter. How tall are you guys? You're five, like, five, five, I'm five, seven, seven. Um, Chessie's a lot taller than people think <laughs> yeah people think tall? i'm 5 11 but people people <laughs> like tough. to yeah. people people like to think i'm 5 7 5 8 yeah, but i'm, yeah. I'm 5 11 dude i'm i'm, I'm, yep. I'm like 180 centimeters yeah, I'm, yeah. I'm a pretty good you eye. just have to embrace the hate i call myself a manlet because everyone calls me that. i'm like i don't care how do i affect my height you can't you're gonna yeah, make you fun can't. of something i'm yeah. genetically i have no control over like it's the stupidest thing i've heard man but yeah dude yeah TikTok is, so tiktok is fucked dude i get flagged on videos posing and flexing and i'm not even in my underwear in my short shorts and there's chicks that can post their asses and those and have no problem i say um, you can see what they've yeah, eaten for breakfast yeah there'll be a lot of censoring on this video on my end <laughs> that's for sure <laughs> <laughs> you can literally see what they've eaten for breakfast dancing around they allow that and we make an educational video and they and they ban it it's like you're bullying i'm like really i'm bullying like i, I don't get it but but hey, haters gonna hate, Mara's gonna Mara, and potatoes exactly. are always gonna <laughs> potato. <laughs> yeah, exactly. I hope you all enjoyed that little snippet. Just wanted to say a massive thank you for Chesty for inviting me to be a part of his interview. Honestly, he didn't have to do that, so I do really appreciate it. I feel like Chesty is heavily misunderstood online, and a lot of people don't like him. But I've known Chesty for a year, and we've done a bit of work together, and he's very misunderstood. He's a very calm dude, and he's not as fucking crazy as he may seem. <laughs> for y'all that didn't know, outside being an online coach and an influencer, I create content for myself, businesses, or other influencers. I'm also going to be heading to Queensland on April 7th, I believe, to film Chesty's WBFF competition. So make sure you follow me, follow Chesty. I'm going to be blasting the whole trip on my Instagram, and I'll also be showing you guys some BTS of Chesty's competition. While I'm up there, I'll probably organize a meet along with myself, Trey, and a few other Queensland creators. I hope you all can make it to that. Again, more information will be on my Instagram story. I'll post it on TikTok as well. But I hope you all enjoyed this type of video. It's a little bit different. If it does really well, or if you guys like it, I'll do more videos like this in the future. Because I'm constantly fucking banned on TikTok, I'm trying to transition out of that platform to something a little bit more sustainable. TikTok's just full of fucking snowflakes and it's too risky, man. I can't say the shit that I wanna say without some Karen or fucking Drew Minion reporting it for no valid reason and then TikTok not even looking at the actual content before taking it down. So make sure you'll click that subscribe button. It'll be greatly appreciated. I'll also be going to America in June. I'll be vlogging and creating some content while I'm up there and hopefully get to meet some really cool people. I've been creating content for almost eight fucking years and there's nothing more on this planet that I want so bad. Make sure you hit that like button, click subscribe and turn on post notifications. It really does go a long way and hopefully I can just make more YouTube videos in the future.